Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one will be on the second issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time and this issue was kind of you know an okay issue first of all we'll start off with this weird art but then the art started to get better and we saw that the, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has basically been thrown to uh, Japan uh, by their friend who is Renit, hopefully that's her name and to now we don't know what is she after or why is she doing that but I think so it's out of her control for some reason while she was talking to the turtles you know not everything was clear enough so later on we saw that uh, the, uh, the turtles has actually encountered this guy who's fighting these bunch of ninjas and that's where you know the turtles went to help him to assist him and that's where he tagged them and he told them that his name was Hamato Yoshi and this is their father I think so uh, Splinter uh, I think so yeah and uh, that's where we saw that they went to their house that's where he uh, they met their family or themselves you know I kind of hate time travel stuff because it really confused me it really fucks up my mind and you know I don't even have much of information about uh, you know the turtles since I don't really read or watch their stuff for quite some time so I don't know what's, what's going on there but I think I think that they met themselves in the past and they met themselves before they got killed by uh, Shredder which we saw that Leonardo was actually fighting him and in the end we saw that the fight has stopped he was about to kill him so he won't kill uh, his father Splinter and all his family and uh, later on you saw in the end that shredder i think so appeared and that's where he was like i'm gonna eliminate anyone who uh, you know disavows me and uh, i think that's where uh thing got back in form for the future so i think that was ha that what happened you know in the issue hopefully i'm right hopefully i'm not wrong if i am wrong please correct me you know leave the comment right down below and that's all pretty much you know uh the art got better while I was uh, reading it, uh, the writing was pretty cool. Actually, it was more mature than the last issue. The last issue was kind of for kids, but this issue was a total different issue. Uh, it had a mature tone, and even the art was kind of cool. And you know, it was bad and cool at the same time. So that was it, pretty much, guys. Let me know what y'all thought on this issue down below, and see you guys around. Take care.